Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to even more Minecraft. I know, it's okay to be excited. But, right now we have a little bit of a thing that we need to deal with. Because, as you remember, last episode I heard a bunch of zombie groaning sounds and f discovered this. This, I'm pretty sure, is a mob spawner. But we're going to dig up there and find out. Also, just quick, quick note. I was messing with the sound and stuff for you guys, and I saw this button. So I clicked it on, and what it does is look. Look down there in the bottom right-hand corner, and it's like subtitles. It tells you what you hear. Like flowing water and footsteps and zombie groans. And experience gained and block broken and block breaking and wow. I could see that getting like kind of hectic looking. I mean, that's that's really cool that that exists. I'm going to get rid of it because it sort of annoys me a little bit, but I just think it's quite cool that it exists. Okay, now, first things first, I want to get all the sweet loot that's definitely hidden inside this in this mob spawner up here. So, okay, I think it stops like here. Yeah, 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 looks like it. Okay. So we're going to go up here and we're going to see what's going on inside this mob spawner up here. Okay, I think here looks like a zombie one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute. <gasps> that slash attack hits multiple at once? That's amazing. I'm so happy right now. Wow, there is so many of them. Did that one have a sword? I don't know how I'm going to kill all these guys. Guys, please. There's two chests in there, it looks like. Okay, got to get in there fast. Come on, where's the torches? Oh, they're in my hand already. God dang it. Okay. We we'll light up the world a little bit here. Man, oh my god, this is mossy cobble texture. We are taking all of this and we're going to do something cool with it because it looks boss. Whoa! There's a lot of crap in this chest. We've got string. String's always useful. Couple loaves of bread. Whoa, what? What? What's a beetroot? Beetroot seeds. I I legit have no in, no clue what that is. I'll take the bones too for bone meal. Take the gold. And a power two enchanted book. That's pretty good. And wow, thanks, chest. Some gunpowder, bread, iron horse, more beetroot seeds. I still don't know what that is. Oh a saddle, that's gonna get useful. And we're gonna leave all the rotten flesh. That saddle's gonna be good. What is a beetroot? And do I want it? Because I... I mean, I'll take... Ow! God dang it. No! Oh! Oh! Stop it! Is it going to get confused because I have a block in one hand and a torch in the other? Yeah, it, it's going to get confusing. Okay. Take the torches out so we can build ourselves back up here. And just get all of this mossy cobble. Is that a way out? Yes, it is. Well, that was fun. And then we can, like, I'm just going to fill this in with cobblestone again. That way, if we want to turn this into, like, a spawn, like, a, uh, an XP farm type thing, then we can. Just going to kind of block everything off here so that it still looks like it's whole. I don't know what we're going to do with this mossy cobble, but it, we're going to make something cool with it. Because I love the texture of that. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we're just going to get all this, and then I think we can probably head back home after that. And then I'm going to just fill all of this, this empty space in with cobblestone. And we'll be on our way, and it'll be great. Did I get that piece over there in the corner? Yeah, there we go. Probably don't need to fill in the edges perfectly like that, but 
I just feel like if we're going to come back and use this, like, I think we will. I don't really know how to make a mob, like, trap or anything like that. But I can't imagine it's that hard, right? I mean... Did we... Mm, we're going to leave the chest. Oh, okay. And see, we got a nice, convenient exit. We're going to have to remember this. Oh, if I would have come through this entrance, I would have seen it dire directly right away. But no. I'm not known for my immense intelligence. There's coal on the roof in there. I don't really want that, to be honest with you. I should want that, just for the sake of having it, but really I'm not that bothered. Ooh! One of those, like, I don't know what they're called, but they have the dark oak wood. Dark oak wood looks sick. Well, I say sick. It just looks like really dark oak wood. That was a nice haul. Two gold ing ingots, an enchanted book. We need to find a horse so we can saddle it up and put this iron horse armor on it and get around the world a lot faster. I think we're going to make a farm and put these beetroot seeds in it because I'm really curious as to what the heck those are. What, what else did we get? We got iron and like almost three stacks of coal. 41 of that moss stone. Can you like make, that'd be, I wish you could make mossy stone. Like if you just put like cobblestone next to water, that would be awesome. It'd be nice to just be able to make it. Cause at first I was thinking about it while I was finishing off that last episode. And I thought maybe, is that like mossy brick? Did I just find the ender dungeon already? Cause that'd be awkward. I mean, this whole series is about me getting to the end and killing the ender dragon and I found it within 10 seconds. I don't remember the hotkey to get things out of your offhand, so I'm just going to take it out of there with my mouse. Well, now that we're here, and this is here, I'm going to have to go down here and just kind of see what's going on. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. We're done. Absolutely big, fat nothing is going on. Okay. Something else I want to do with my axe. Oh, also, I was looking at this in between episodes. So I was looking, this does 1.6 attack speed and 6 attack damage, but my Iron Axe does 0.9 attack speed and 9 attack damage. So would it be smarter for me to use an axe rather than a sword to fight? Because it attacks slower, but look at that, I can't do that with a sword. It has 9 attack damage, so I don't know. Texture for this kind of looks weird. I don't know. We're going to have to see what it looks like when it, when it's in plank form. So we're going to get this tree and get a couple saplings. Oh, we want that sugar cane too. That way we can get some bookshelves going for... Hello? Can I help you? Yeah, I didn't freaking think so, you sheep. God. Got to intrude on me like that. I'm trying to have a conversation with myself. And you're interrupting. Okay, we'll just chop this down and we'll hope we get a sampling or two. Then we can plant them near the house a little bit. While I'm waiting for saplings to drop, I'm gonna go get the sugar cane. So I don't know, maybe it would be smarter for me to use a um axe for battle. I don't know. Because it does more damage, right? But it has a slower attack speed. I wonder if there's is there an, a new enchantment that can like raise your attack speed or something like that oh we got one all right all we need is one so especially since we have 10 bones now oh wait did we get a bow we might have got a bow yeah we got a bow the bow in this game is like my one of my favorite weapons does it show you no it doesn't show you it's attack damage do the arrows show you no but the bow in this game is like my favorite type of weapon because it's like, when I play games, I love to be like the long-range, silent, like, assassin. And with the bow, I'm allowed to do that. Like, watch this. I'm going to snipe this sheep. Watch it. Oh, oh we, we fell real short there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Owned. And then we can pick up our arrows, which is even better. Not the ones that you hit the sheep with, but the one that didn't hit the sheep. Wait for it, wait for it. Sniped. That's right. Just You just got Wesley sniped. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. 360. Oh. Sort of close. Ba ba black sheep, have you any dead? What? It lived. I'm insulted by your existence, sheep. I'm going to take the hair off of you and use it to, I don't know, clothe myself? So we came out of there with 25 iron and some other cool stuff. That's pretty good. We're going to obviously need to just... We're going to need to dedicate an episode to mining. Because that's just... It would be a smart thing to do because then we could just do an entire 15-minute episode of just me mining in the caves. And then we'd come out of there with a whole bunch of supplies, hopefully. And then we could postpone another trip. Like every couple of episodes, we should just go on a big mining expedition to get supplies and then we don't have to worry about it we don't have to go every single day but you know too late now i'm already far away well i got here just in time it just became like night time nap time <sighs> all right so i'm thinking okay i'm gonna start organizing the chests all the like ores and minerals and like valuable stuff like that can go in here. Where's the iron? So we'll get all that stuff out of here. Ores and valuable stuff. I don't know if gunpowder is considered valuable or not. I think that's pretty much it, really. These two stacks of coal. The gun Do we want the gunpowder in there? I don't know. We're going to need to get more chests. Uh, I feel like there was something I'm missing that I was going to put in here. Oh, the moss stone. The moss stone. And then the rest of this crap... Oh, we're holding the iron, too. That's what it was. The rest of this crap can really just go in here, and we'll we'll sort we'll sort that out later. Also, I'm going to plant this dark oak sapling. Where do we want the dark oak at? Like, like... Oh, whoa, whoa. Right here... I feel like that's a good place for it. And we'll just let that son of a gun grow. Okay. There was something in here that I was missing. What what was it? I guess we can take the arrows now that we have a bow. Now we've got food, the sugar canes. Oh, I wanted to see what this looked like in plank form. That's right. Oop, oops, I made it all. Yeah, I mean that's it's not that much darker really. You really, it's really kind of difficult to tell. I don't know. Well, we might be able to use that for something. Okay. Now, I think... Oh, we need to make another axe. Yep. Three. And then while we're at it, we're just going to put this in here. Make another iron axe. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. It says it does nine attack damage, which is nuts. I think, but hmm, I don't know. All right, we're gonna take this and some cobblestone, and we're gonna start on the second story of the house. Okay, I'm gonna take like a little bit of wood here. Whoops! Whoa! What did I just do? We're gonna take some wood and make some sticks so we can have ladders. And then eventually we'll have the staircase built so we won't need ladders anymore. Uh, well, that, that didn't work, did it? That did not spread out like I thought it was going to. <sighs> Story of my life. No, I'm kidding. Okay. No. Well, I guess that works. That'll have to work. All right. So what I'm thinking initially is that we need more stairs. I think the top floor is going to be rather than start start with on this block and be flush with the rest of the house, we're going to indent it one block. So the actual start of the wall will be here and go around it since it's just going to be like my room basically up there. And that'll give it a little more depth. You guys know how much I love depth. So what did I come in here for exactly? Oh, 
Yeah, we're gonna use some of the wood here. Oh! Here we go again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna pick this up when we come back in the next episode. Goodbye!